Good evening. It is a chilly evening here in my little cabin. My landlady didn't cut enough wood for the winter, so I'm back to heating with heaters, and it's a balmy plus 10 in here. Yikes, but hey, it's better than it being minus 10, so I'll, I'll live with it. The weather's supposed to break on Sunday, I'm supposed to have a some decent weather come then, but tonight it's going to be minus 32 again. I want to talk about the blessing that the grandmothers gave me. Um, this message was channeled through my teacher, Blue Thunder, a couple weeks ago now. And it's it's been life-changing for me, and it's on my mind a lot. And I just want to share... Um, profoundness of it it's it's changing my life so it's a message from the standing tall ones who are my grandmothers it's a message from my ancestors and in this case my ancestors happen to be the trees and they call themselves the standing tall ones and I instantly got the message that I am walking tall one. So I am walking tall one, walking through the standing tall ones in the forest and it's just, it's beautiful. Okay, so it starts off, the grandmothers want you to understand that you belong. They have been waiting for you to arrive. And they apologize if the way in which they got you here was harsh. But they have been waiting for you. When I first met my partner, I told him I'm not living here for more than a couple of years. This was in the little town where we met, just a random town that we both happened to move to. And then he started talking about wanting to be mortgage free and he looked at all sorts of places and Eventually this one came up and he showed it to me and I said, yeah, I would move there. So we came here and visited it and he immediately fell in love with the place. I really wanted to move. Um, moving eight hours away from the place where I had lived for the previous 42 years of my life was daunting. Our relationship was not healthy. Um, I was either constantly leaving or being kicked out. So, yeah. Huh. But, I did, I did it, I moved here. I had put my spirit animal, Charles, who's a bald eagle, I sent him out to find us a place and he came back with this place. It's in northern Manitoba, it's in the bush, surrounded by forests and lakes and it is what my soul has always wanted. I fell in love with being up here the first weekend we were here. It became my home. I have never felt like I've had a home until I moved here. In November, um, I had a session with the Reiki master in the closest town to where I live, and she was just telling me that the particular area that I live in has some dark energy, and it just it hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh, okay, I am here to heal this place. I am here to heal the particular piece of property that we bought, and, and then I'm supposed to move on from there. I knew it. I just knew it. It was like just an instant knowing. And I felt purpose. I also felt a bit crazy, as I often do, because I have these knowings 
you know, I have a spirituality that not many people understand, at least not in my circle, coming from a conservative Christian background. So I knew I was supposed to be with my partner and I knew that we had a soul contract and that I was in his life for a very specific pur purpose. But it just always felt crazy because how do you explain this to people? How do you explain staying in a relationship that is toxic and so full of conflict and, and that's harmful? So that's what the grandmothers are sort of apologizing for. The way they got me here was incredibly harsh. It, it, um, it was. There's no way about it. But I'm here now. And they've been waiting for me. The trees here in the land here have been waiting for me to come. That is amazing. That is so, so amazing. Okay, part of the work they are wanting you to do is to connect with the forest. The beings in the forest have been forgotten. I've known that I've been a keeper of the forest for, mm, I'd say the past seven years about. I have formed a deep connection to a couple of different forests and they take care of me and I take care of it. I always ask before I go into the forest if I have permission to enter the realm, their realm, and if the answer is yes then I ask for the forest to take my stress, to guide me, to lead me, to give me their wisdom, to soothe me, to comfort me, and they do. Occasionally I've been warned away from going to a specific area because there's been danger there. It's a, it's a beautiful reciprocating relationship that I have with the land and with the forest. The beings in the forest have been forgotten. So I am um, I don't know if they're talking about the animals. It sounds that way. I don't know a whole lot about animal life. Could be the little ones, could be the fairies. I don't know. There is no rush whenever you're ready. Well, I am ready. I have been waiting for purpose. I have been waiting for like a, a mission to become clear. So I am very ready to start whatever they want me to do. The forest is requiring your gentleness, your softness. For you know how to walk softly on the earth, and perhaps this is something you will need to teach others again, for they have forgotten. I am a very gentle woman. You know, my partner said there was a, a vulnerability to me, there was a childlike quality to me. That even with all the conflict and shit that happened, it didn't go away. I find that remarkable. My heart has really stayed open through all of this and I have managed to stay loving. I really am a tender-hearted, sensitive woman. And... The land likes that about me. Back in, um, down south where I lived, I lived in one spot for, uh, 39 years. I, it was farming country. It was very difficult for me to be there. I heard the land groaning in pain from all the chemicals and the way that 
the land was farmed it was it was very very painful painful for me to live there and the land the forest didn't want to give me up they didn't want me to leave and uh it took me years and years to move away from there I do want to teach others. I would love to take others forest bathing. I just want to take people who need the gentle healing of Mother Nature deep into the forest and just sit, just lie down, soak in the sun, sit in the shade, listen to the trees, to the birds. There is no greater medicine than going into the forest. It is so rare that I come out feeling, feeling the same way that I went, went in. And I want to be able to share that with others. You are important to bring healing to the land. I've never had a message channeled from you before. I've never had such a direct confirmation of something that I knew. This is incredibly special. I don't know how I'm going to heal the land. Um, but I know that I am a healer and maybe just my presence here right now is enough. Welcome, my child. We are so happy you are here. It will be part of your story, the journey that got you here. It will need to be shared for others to see how important it is to come back to the land to live in reciprocity. So that's why I started this YouTube channel, actually, because they want me to share my story. I, I've had this YouTube channel set up for months. I've just never done anything. Um, being on social media actually makes me feel really awkward. It's uncomfortable for me. I'm, uh, I'm a really private person. I don't share things with anyone unless I feel safe and comfortable, which is not very often. I have a certain few people that I talk to sometimes, but not even very often. So this is a really big deal for me to put this out there. And I have to be very careful about what I say about my partner and our relationship. I want to be very respectful of that. And I don't like social media. I don't like the internet. I waste too much time on it. I society wastes too much time on it. I want to be getting away from it instead of more immersed in it. But they've asked me to do something and I, I do what they ask me. I really do. The time will come when I will be living off grid in the forest and I will not have a phone and I will not have internet and it's just going to be me in the land. That's it's not yet but it's coming. I'm not sure what it means to live in reciprocity. Like, I think that's how I live, but that's sort of how I've been living for quite a few years. It'll all come clear yet. You know, I'm just at the beginning stages of this, so it's all going to become clear. Well, and then here it says, you are the teacher. We will give you all of the wisdom that you need. You simply need to place your forehead on the tree. Um, so part of the message that wasn't in the channeling, but a task that I was, I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to find a grandmother and a grandfather tree. I know where these trees are. I know which trees I would love to connect with. I know where I belong, but 
it's not possible for me to be there right now, so I need to find trees here in the forest where I'm living at the moment, where I'm renting. And I, I found one. I've never experienced downloads before. And is that what they're talking about? All you need to do is place your head against the tree? I'm not sure. That's a fascinating concept, you know, getting downloads from a tree. Getting downloads from anywhere is fascinating. And like, what will it feel like? I'll just suddenly have knowledge or wisdom? And that would be like, that would be a great way to learn. Um, I'm having a hard time meditating right now, but occasionally I will sit down on my hello and I will try to merge with that tree that I have found here in, in this forest and I think one day I will be able to just I'll just slide right into it and, I'll, and I will become one with the tree It also needs to warm up a bit. I am not able to spend any length of time outside right now sitting. I can walk, you know, we go walking. I spend an hour in the forest most days, but it is just bitterly, bitterly cold out here right now. So sitting underneath a tree, it's not really possible. And my older dog is, is having a hard time with this cold this winter. So he's definitely cannot deal with sitting out and about this winter. We are your grandmothers, the standing tall ones. We know the grandmothers and grandfathers are here. We are all here around you. We are your ancestors. Ancestors are not always what you think they are. We are them, the standing tall ones. We are all around you. We are the ones who called you here. I have been called here. I have been called here. I fought so hard to stay here. I've only been here since August. And he kicked me out twice and I left this last time first time I was forced to go back down south. The second time I fought hard to stay here and at the last moment I found a bedroom to rent. And then this third time I found myself a place to rent and I, I know I'm supposed to stay up here. I just know that this is my home and I have like I said, I fought so hard to stay up here, and I know that it's going to work out because I belong here, and they have called me here. This is my home. They are now going to help me make it work. I have total faith and confidence in that. You always have a choice, but we hope you stay because we have many blessings for you. That's also deeply meaningful because I have really lived the past few years feeling like I don't have much choice. So it's nice to not be controlled. It's nice for them to say, you have a choice. We are giving you your free will. You can be who you are. We love who you are. We want you here as you are. That is unconditional love. That is support. I am just waiting for all these blessings. They're already starting, you know. My camera was healed. It hasn't worked for a couple of years and it's just working now after I told the grandmothers I'm going to need my camera. Um, 
I told the grandmothers I needed money and I have money coming to me now. Yep, the blessings are coming and there's going to be many more. We need your pure heart. We need your light. My heart. I've struggled with severe mental illness my entire life. My heart has been locked up so tightly for so many years and it's been in the past seven years since I've worked at opening it up and wow has it ever opened up and for them to say that I have a pure heart that is amazing. My heart is strong enough that it is able to send love to a man who has hurt me terribly. You know, I'm not angry. I don't hate. I have love. There's, there's something powerful is happening here something that's way bigger than me we are blessed you are here you will be a grandmother that lives without pain or suffering wow I have suffered my entire life hardcore suffering I have hardcore suffered my whole 43 years of existence I am going to live without pain and suffering. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Because I don't think anyone really can truly live without pain and suffering, but it sounds beautiful. And they are blessed that I am here. Someone wants me here. My life is going to be beautiful. It is going to turn out to be a beautiful, beautiful existence up here. And that is the blessing from the grandmothers, the standing tall ones. I am Blue-Eyed Molly, the walking tall one. Much love.